Red shirt one here with you folks, and believe you me, we have some really wonky shit going on right now. I'm building art for my card game, and as I am sitting here trying to figure out how to get prompts to give me the art I want, um, there are two cards that I have. One is Citizen, one is Thug. Um... The odd part is when I type in citizen, I keep getting nothing but white people. And when I type in thug, I keep getting only nothing but black people. This is the funny part. Now, with that, this is open AI, not, not Google Gemini. This is not Google Gemini. But if you notice, I get black people for thugs. But when I type in white people, or Amer citizens, I either get watches, or if I type in American citizen, I get white people. Here is thugs, with thugs on their shirt. This is, this is, this is AI generated art. This is the computer that is agreeing with the whole concept of blacks are thug life. This is, this is garbage in, garbage out programming right here. Um, so yeah, if there is any racism in the AI industry, it's going to be about the, the creation of generic catch-all generalization terms because, you know, the, 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 the beauty of it all is the fact that no matter how much you 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 try to include everyone you're going to end up not including everyone this is this is the this is the fun part about intersectionality because it causes so much division because when you start squaring people off into different intersectionalities you're leaving them on different blocks of city streets intersections yeah no but yeah it's it's just really weird that you know out of all the time i keep trying to have citizens and thugs the 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 beauty of it oh yeah in this picture right here yes we actually find our first sense of diversity in american citizenry that picture right there, that is the first one in 10 weeks. This is, this is the first one I fired up this morning for American Citizen. Nothing. Just, just mayonnaise. Now, granted, I'm white, but the whole thing about it is I don't believe in forced diversity. <laughs> um, I believe that anybody can be anything they want to be, such as, you know, I want to be a game designer. I want to be a writer. I wanted to make a movie. Uh, I've been doing all that. Um, the only person stopping me is me. You know, that type of thing. Um, I don't believe we have too much of an issue with interpersonal relationship but when we when we go through and we 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 stop being the center of our own universe that's when we start realizing that hey you know there's other people around us that matter too. Doesn't matter what crayon they are. And like I'm always having a fondness of saying, when you flip the crayons, if the world melts, that first crayon situation is racist. Because if you have, you know, say a pack of black people beating on a white person, oh, that's fine and dandy. But the minute you flip those crayons around where it's a pack of white people beating on a black person, oh, it's sinful. 
stop and think about that. But yeah, notice I have to put in white thug in order to get somebody that looks like Eminem. And it's the same mayonnaise motherfucker. Because <laughs> watch as it regenerates. And yes, I am building a new card game in conjunction with the card game I've already been building. This one is a little bit on the simpler to learn side. I'm guesstimating a 20 minute learn time curve. Other than that, red shirt went out. <laughs>